My name is Wael. I was born in Lebanon. I grew up in Lebanon and I did my bachelor's degree in Lebanon in management. So academically, I have a background in management and retail management. Professionally, I have worked in consulting. I have worked in hospitality and I have worked in the retail industry. So I have this, I have moved many places during my career. I have lived abroad like many times. Almost you could say I moved to five countries for the past six years. But most recently I have moved and lived in the, in New York. Right now I, I am pursuing my MBA in finance at Fordham University. I chose Fordham because I love how small the community is and how everyone is approachable and, re and relatable. So you could build more relationships with them. I've always had the goal in mind to pursue my MBA, especially in the US. And I always, you know, when I was looking at my next step, I saw I was, I was always thinking about what could I do now to improve my next steps later, to improve my future. So my background, I started working in the retail industry as, a, as an operation, operations in the retail industry. That was in Lebanon. And then I moved to Dubai. Um, I worked as a account executive for the hotel industry. During that time, I got the opportunity to, to move back to Lebanon and work as a business development manager in, in an upcoming frozen seafood distribution. So I worked there and I saw when, when I was there and in that role, I saw that I was lacking some skills, some leadership skills, some communication skills, or even the financial background, because mostly my background was in management or marketing. And when I saw this, I thought that, you know, it, it would be the right time that in a year or two, I should be moving to the US and pursuing my MBA, especially in finance, because it, not necessarily I want to go back to finance, to, to management or marketing, but I want to say switch the career, go into a deeper operation side or a consulting side, but especially get towards finance. And that, that was like, the choice for me was obvious that I should be doing an MBA. I think, um, if especially you're coming from a non-business background an MBA is great for you because it gives you in the first like first semester maybe everything a business bachelor's degree gives you in just like it's a quick snapshot of the whole basics of the business which is you could say accounting marketing finance leading people so an MBA gives you a, a, like a background of everything at first and then you you go deep into what you want to concentrate in so what's good about an mba is for example i come from a non-business background and i start my mba my first courses are the core courses which i just mentioned so if i see that i like finance accounting marketing my concentration which is i which is which is like almost a year and a half later it's i could only choose courses that I like and courses that I saw that, okay, I enjoyed marketing during my course courses. I could choose all the concentration in marketing and I could specialize in it. So this, this is what helps everyone that's coming from a non-business background. And if you're coming from a business background, I feel those courses could a lot, gives you a refresher first because you're coming into an MBA after you have maybe three to five years of experience minimum so it kind of gives you a refresher and gives you a deeper knowledge and understanding of who you are and what you really want to be and i think most importantly it builds up your leadership skills because you're you're really involved in everything especially how the courses are whether they're led in a case study whether they're led project wise so you're always leading a team or you're always working within a team and learning real life situations. It's not just only theoretical stuff. A master in finance, it's mostly just 
finance, like very technical finance. And I didn't want to do a master in finance because I don't want to go too much into technicalities. I want to to have an overall view, you could say, of a business and build a deeper understanding of the financial con- of like the financial concept, as you would say. So as a master in finance, it's more more detailed or you could say more uh, it has like it's more deep dive into finance and technicalities an mba is more of a broader concept of everything and it's even though you're taking finance like concentration courses in finance you're having them like you're you're getting them in a in a way that gives you a, a different role like how a manager w- would handle or how a CFO would handle those financial analysis or those financial hurdles that you face in a situation or in a company, as opposed to when you're doing a master's in finance, you're, you're going, you're doing more the deeper, the deeper work in a, in a company, as opposed to an MBA, he's leading the work that all his financial team is doing. In the Gabelli MBA, you could you could do like just an MBA, which is general, you could say, which has like you don't specialize in one con- in one concentration. You you take co- courses from everything, from like anything you like, or you could follow a concentration, or you could even do two concentrations. So to be able to have a concentration. I think you should you should take three courses you'll be able to get the concentration so you could do finance you could do marketing you could do management you could do strategy but what's really nice at Gabelli that we have areas that are still new and upcoming like blockchain like fintech like business analytics and those are those are like concentrations that are new and that are very useful right now especially in this situation and they even have like dual concentration or dual degrees that that if people want to go and do a CPA or master's in public accountancy as well. We have like in my I could give you like examples from my cohort like we're from various backgrounds whether it's business or non-business whether coming from engineering or psychology or history it's mostly they look at the person and what's that person achieved and how he could improve himself and why he wants really that MBA. Like it's mostly about the person and of course his background and experiences, how he could, like how he could improve himself, what he wants to build upon, like what's his past and what he currently wants and what he wants in the future. So it's kind of a whole, it's like this whole cycle they look at Our class right now is around 70 people and we're kind of divided into three cohorts. That's a cohort that's only online and it's like online and international. And you have, because of COVID, we divided the other cohort into two. So we have around 26 people into each class that we have the option to choose a hybrid or only on, which means like you can come in and have one or two classes right now on campus or you could just do them online and right now they're coming from mostly it's from uh, because because of the situation right now most most of my cohort are based in the us and are us students but we have like uh, almost maybe 30 people that are international and that are doing it online which is unfortunate because like you know, because of the situation of COVID, they couldn't come and, you know, enjoy that on campus experience. But overall, it's been really great. Great. Everyone is, you know, sticking together. We're helping each other because it's new for like, it's new. We've been out of school, you could say, for seven years almost. And everyone is trying to learn something new, navigating that virtual environment and the back to school environment. Depends, I think, where you live, but especially here in New York, I feel like everyone is welcome. Like you feel that everyone, you could relate to anyone you would meet on the street. I'm sure, like every every person 
can find someone he can relate to, especially in a big city as New York. And I felt very welcome here. Like I didn't, you know, I didn't feel very much of a difference between here or previous countries that I have lived abroad. And I feel here the opportunity is bigger. You have, you have people from different backgrounds. You could meet people anywhere in a coffee shop or in a restaurant where you could end up having a conversation with and you could see that he works in a in an industry you know he works he knows someone you know it's it's kind of a, they say it's a huge like it's a huge city but you could meet people that surprisingly know people that you have connections with which is uh, kind of surprising and nice I think there's the Office of International Students that helps all the students settle in and all the staff are very helpful. They, first of all, there's accommodation on campus, so they help, like, they guide you when you should apply, what you should do. And the Office of International Students helps everyone navigate everything or any hurdle they have, even like, the, you know, their, their cohort helps you help each other even if people want to they say they want to live you know we're going to rent a two-bedroom apartment and move move in together some people do that or like it's it's been really helpful whatever someone whenever someone needs anything everyone was being helpful whether it's from the cohort or whether it's from the academic administration everyone is like making everyone feel welcome, which is really nice in those times. My situation is kind of different because I currently have a green card because I'm married to a US citizen. But for the international student, I know that the Office of the International Student will help give you know, the acceptance letters and will guide students through the whole process of where they should go, what they should do and when like that should apply to the u.s uh, embassy in their country and after that i think like when the visa is accepted they're welcome to come in and post mba it depends on um, like the university that doesn't have i think a say post mba because it depends on the employer you choose and what happens after if you if your employer sponsors your visa or not that depends on each case where i'm not sure depends on each person's case. What's great about Gabelli, and it's one of the reasons I chose Gabelli because of their network and of their alumni. Like everyone is helpful. Whoever you reach out to, they'll immediately help you out, whether it's on LinkedIn, by via phone, or just the career development services at Gabelli. They just immediately help you out. If they know someone in any industry, they tell you go, for example, speak to him, reach out to him. And they'll, they'll really guide you throughout, like even before we started our MBA, we started doing our career development, like meeting. It was, I remember back in July, even I didn't know, like we were just starting. Back in July, I started receiving emails from my career advisors that we should schedule meetings speak together and they immediately guided me like choose an industry what I want to do and what I should do the next steps and what's really nice is every like week or two you have follow-ups with them you have meetings with them or even they you know every week they give you workshops on how you could improve your CV your your interviewing skills your academic skills anything technical or on your background you need, they will help you improve that. So what's really nice, it's they're you're really it's it's a huge network of alumni that that are really keen and helpful to help Gabelli grads. And I found it so far really helpful because whoever I'm reaching out to, if they have they are a Gabelli alum, like they they would come back in like maybe one or two days and they would move the conversation really fast and help you out in ever in whichever way they can. What's nice about Gabelli, it's located in, in like Lincoln Center, which is, you could say, almost midtown west. So it's 
it's really in the middle of New York. It's not like far away from New York. So whenever you are at the university and you have like a quick coffee chat with anyone in any industry, it's like they're five minutes away from you. Like you don't have to, you know, to go far away or like to even take the subway to meet that person, whether like I could compare to, for example, universities that are not in New York. Most of the people that want to work in, for example, finance or consulting or big, big media or big banks, they have to come, for example, they have to come in from, let's say, Philadelphia. They have to take a train to come into New York just to have that meeting or to speak to those people or to do their interview. Whereas like Gabelli, it's just in the middle of New York. It's you're in the center of that hub and you have like you have everyone around you. It's, it's really like helpful. It, you don't feel like it's you're like in a, in a separated place. You're in the middle of the action, which is really nice. My MBA is uh, two years. So you have the first year that you do your core courses and then the second semester you do your elective and some core courses and then we're, you, it's really advisable to do an internship in the summer because that internship leads to a job offer hopefully for the end of the next, like the end of the second year, which is really that path for an MBA. You do your first year, you get your internship and then hopefully you get a job offer and get that job by the end of your second year. So especially during the first semester, people will feel really overwhelmed because, you know, it's kind of a full, se it's, it's a semester that has six courses that are divided into two. So for eight weeks, you take three courses and then the next eight weeks, you take three other courses. So it's a huge semester. And during that time, you're working on getting your internship, networking, building like your network. And it's a really great experience. And what's really nice is that your cohort will help you in, you know, whether it's after, after classes, you go out to the park or just go out to when it's possible to the bar, you know, depends on the situation right now. We're seeing in a perfect world, this is what happens. And, uh, especially when people feel overwhelmed, like you feel that anyone from your class will help you, whether it's training for an interview, whether it's studying together for a final or for a project. It's really, it's been like a really nice environment where everyone felt really helped by each other. I think especially for doing an MBA in New York, there are many different situations that I've seen, like, for example, in my class, we have people that are sponsored by their company. So they come and their company is paying their, like their tuition fees. But what I did is I was budgeting. I knew that I, I need to do my, I want to do my MBA. And what I advise everyone is just to budget and plan ahead, like at least a year ahead, plan, research talk to your university they've been really helpful like what especially like ask about the finance like how you should budget their financial aid if they have it and just have a plan and it's new york is expensive but if you have a plan beforehand you would be able to make it i think like whenever i was you know, I was deciding on which university I wanted. Like whoever I spoke to about Gabelli, they always told me, you feel like a family, it's a small community. And I always thought, you know, maybe they're over overselling it, but like, no, they're not. Like, it's really like a small tight-knit community. Like everyone wants you to succeed. Everyone wants you to, to, to be better, to get better. Like. Even if you have your colleague or like anyone in your cohort that's applying to the same job, they'll tell you like, look, I, I know that you're interested in consulting, for example, like, look, I saw this opportunity for you to go ahead and like apply for it, even though I applied for it. Like, and whenever like he applies for something and he does an interview, you know, if he just immediately gets back to you and tell you, oh, here, here, here is what I did. like. You know, I got this question, that question. 
I did this, I did that, and I feel, you know, you could talk to that person to help you. Like, it's really a close knit community where I felt, you know, I felt really comfortable and I didn't feel that I need to compete with different people. I just need to be myself and, you know, succeed.